Welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Peter Sheikh Skyra Fever, the Slim Giant, the Smart MC, or you can call me Vashimpundu if you like. If you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, the best thing that you can do right now is to hit the red button, switch on the notification bell so that every time I post a new video, you will be notified that Vashimpundu has posted a new video. Don't forget to give me the thumbs up. And also share the video so that other people can learn about my channel and what I am doing um, on this channel. Thank you so much for the 16,000 subscribers. We're heading to 20. We're heading to 20K. That's what we are looking for. But then today I'm, I'm about to talk about something unfortunate. Something unfortunate. That's what I'm going to talk about today. It's about um, a lady who comes a young lady actually who comes from a rich family and then um he goes to this certain church and uh, from that certain church there's this young man who's not coming from a rich family by the name of masuzio piri and so this guy who's coming from a poor background where the mother just sells uh, vegetables uh, uh, in Mutendere and then uh, just uh, uh, in Mutendere, uh, Mutendere uh, rather, along the road. And then, of course, the father is not working. He doesn't even have a car, according to this lady, young lady. And so, Masuzio... Piri is not looking at all that the mother is doing and the father not having a car. And so he goes for Natasha Mulengaluwinda. That's the name of the girl, Natasha Mulengaluwinda. And, uh, you know, in the inbox on Facebook, and he's trying to propose love to this girl. And what does this girl do because of the proposal coming from um, Masuzio Piri. Instead of just letting it go, maybe not responding or just telling uh, Masuzio Piri to say, I can't date you, what does she do? She comes on Facebook, screenshots the conversation that they had in the inbox with Masuzio Piri, and she comes on Facebook, puts in ZNBC Top Stories online, and she says, Masuzio Piri, please stop texting me. You are not my type. You stay in Mutendere while I stay in PHI. Your mom sells vegetables at the road. Mom's works for a bank. Your father doesn't even have a car. Then you come to my inbox just because we go to the same church doesn't mean you are my class oh my god oh my god so is it a sin and a crime now that you're coming from a poor background and also your mom is selling vegetables and then your father doesn't have a car. You can't propose love to some rich girl because of such a background. It made me feel so bad and that's the reason I'm recording this video right now. Nobody is allowed to disrespect anyone just because they have certain opportunities that others do not have. That is totally wrong. You're not supposed to look down on others just because you've got an advantage in life. And the things that this Natasha Molengaluwinda is boasting about is not even hers. It's for the parents. And she doesn't even know the struggle. And on the other hand, we have Masuzi Opiri, who has 
this mother selling vegetables along the road of Mutendere. We have seen a lot of people that are successful today coming from such backgrounds. It's not about Masuzio Piri. Masuzio Piri's parents could be suffering today, but the destiny of Masuzio cannot be the same of the parents. They might be sacrificing for him. And today, as long as he is breathing, he can be a somebody in future. Now, I love the positive reaction of Zambians to this story. And I want to thank um, George N. Mutonga, who is a Zambian based in the, uh, in the United States and is doing a lot of things to help Zambians in all areas that he can, especially is finding talent in people and helping them in a way he can help and also bringing up some challenges for um, uh, people and they are winning some monies through those challenges. And I believe there are certain things that I don't know about George Mutonga that he is doing for him to just uh, come up and just start throwing these challenges that he's doing. And so he also reacted to this story of Masuzio Piri and others have also reacted Okay, and this is what George Mutonga has, um, has to say uh, about this situation. He says, can you guys please help me get in touch with Masuzi Opiri? I would like to award his mother who sells vegetables capital from our capital funding program. I would like to award his mother who sells vegetables capital from our capital funding program. My mother used to sell rice at Men Masala Market. The fortunes of this world are never consistent. They change. So let's change the narrative of this story by giving the family a helping hand. I am ready or I'm ready. I will wait for you guys to help me with the family's contact. Despise people. I despise people who think poverty defines a human being. I don't support that at all. Poor or rich, all human begins or all human beings have value. That's um George Mutonga there. Okay. So he says we won't let one person misrepresent who we are as Zambians. We can laugh all day with each other, but we don't appreciate people who look down on others. I can assure so you, he says, I we won't let any person misrepresent who we are as Zambians. We can laugh all day with each other, but we don't appreciate people who look down on others. I can assure you, I have many friends who know they are blessed, but come from humble beginnings and never take our blessing for granted. I'm committing 2,000 kwacha as capital award to Masuzio's mother and I can assure you more people will come. Amano Yabupuba is not a part, a part of our culture. Watch how we will change the narrative of this story. My boy Ushi is coming through. Okay? So people responding positive um, to this issue of this lady called Natasha Mlenga, who wanted to, you know, to embarrass Masuzio Piri on social media as he did, but the story has changed to be a positive one, and people want, are coming now uh, to help uh, Masuzio Piri. I can assure you, no matter what and who our mothers are, at no point are we ever going to allow anyone to disrespect what Zambian women have to do to feed us. Whether it's selling at the market or cleaning people's houses, our Zambian mothers will always get our support. Zambian men, we have to make Masuzio's mother get good capital. I have committed 2000 If we can get to 10000 for her, I would appreciate. Let's not allow this type of disrespect not to be checked. Our mothers sacrifice a lot. They sacrifice their youth. They sacrifice their lives for us to have food. 
make sure Masuzio gets in touch with us as soon as possible. This is a no. Have Masuzio get in touch with me. We have a gift for his hardworking, loving, strong mother. Okay, so people are, have already started flocking and they are committing themselves. We have 3,000 kwacha in commitments. We will raise 10,000 for the mother of, uh, to expand uh, uh, her business. All in all, what I'm saying is the money has continued to be raised. And so far, the latest update is that um, um, they... Um, they have managed to raise um, 11,000. Israel coming up with another corner kick. This is like, <laughs> okay, uh, uh, George uh, uh, Mutonga is on another level with his humor. Okay, now we have the commitment set up. I think we can now need to get the person who get all this money prepare and deliver. So this simply shows that the money has been found. But George Mutonga is still pleading that Masuzio Piri should get in touch before the funds are released for the mother. Okay? He's been posting on his uh, social media uh, account asking, where is Masuzio? Okay? So, if you have a way of getting in touch with Masuzio Piri or the church that he goes to, Get in touch with George Mutonga, George N. Mutonga on Facebook, George N. Mutonga, and he's going to get in touch with Masuzio and deliver what has been raised for the mother of Masuzio Piri. And of course, it's been hard to get in touch with him, and so he posted, if we don't hear from Masuzio Piri and authenticate this story, I will provide an alternative that involves a mother who is struggling. I have received a case. That is in line with our commitment to show that at no point we uh, do we tolerate uh, the disrespect of our mothers. I wait until Tuesday next week, after which I will discuss with the donors about a different case that has been brought to my attention. Okay? And so let me just read that, uh, that, that this that has been brought to George Mutonga's attention and the group. If... Masuzio Piri doesn't get in touch with George Mutonga. This is what happens. If we don't find Masuzio, this is the case we will shift funds to. Hello, Uncle George. I hope you are all right. I am a student at Evelyn Horn College currently pursuing my diploma in environmental health. I'm doing my attachments in Namwala District at Mowola Rulo, um, Rulo Health Center. And this is my uh, a second time. This issue is, there is this old woman I always see by the uh, clinic begging for either foodstuffs or money from people. I met her in December and I used to give her some food of my foodstuffs and a little bit of my money, even just a 10 kwacha or a 5 kwacha. And I recently just came back to Namwala and I found her doing the same thing and she is really old. So on Friday I told her, that I will visit her, and today I did. My heart bled when I saw where she stays. She stays with her third-born child who has seven children and a wife. So all together they are ten. This is uh, this is a season when everyone is supposed to have maize in the village, but they don't have because they never planted because they never had seed. I asked him how they survive. And he told me he makes pan bricks of which people buy at 0 0.50. What, what's this? Sometimes 2 for 0 0.50 kwacha. I don't know how much <laughs> this is because they know he needs money. It is really a bad situation and I had a chance to check where grandma sleeps and the place has some holes and looking at this weather is not things definitive. I was kindly asking if you can help out this family by maybe helping the third born who is taking care of grandma to start up a business because 
I asked how many times they eat and he said sometimes twice and sometimes they can go for about two days with hunger. I felt so sad. I asked him what business he can do if he was helped with some money and he told me he can be ordering pigs in the other village and selling in town of which the pigs cost about 450, 450 kwacha each and can be resold at Kavesha at 850. I'm kindly asking if you can help him simply because he and his wife are the ones taking care of a grandma. I am sending even pictures brought by Salome. I'm sure I'm going to be able to attach photos. I'm going to look for these photos. So this is what is happening. Thank you to George Mutonga and the rest of the team that are rendering a helping hand in Zambia. God bless you and may the resources be found in all areas that you are trying to help the people of Zambia. To Masuzi Opiri, get in touch with these people. My name is Peter Shakespeare Favored, the Slim Giant, the Smart MC, or you can call me Washimpundu. If you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, the best thing that you can do is hit the red button, switch on the uh, 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 notification bell so that every time I post a new video, you will be notified that Washimpundu has posted a new video. God bless you. Enjoy the rest of the day, evening, night, wherever you are. Shalom, shalom.